What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning. Welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, April the 6th. We're going to talk about fine art today. And I want to introduce you to Fred Schomeyer, Jefferson City Art Club. Good to have you here, Fred. Oh, thanks, Paul. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. uh, You're here from the Jefferson City Art Club, and you said you wanted to talk about the fine art exhibit. Yeah, we have an annual exhibit every year. It's um, open to both amateur and professional artists. It opens uh, soon. It will be, actually, it opened last Friday, April 2nd. And um, there's a whole variety of art there. There's professionals, amateurs, as I said. There's sculpture, uh, abstract art, realism. Uh, You'll see artists just beginning, starting to do work. And then we've got accomplished artists who are nationally recognized in the show. So a lot of variety. How many many different exhibits will be available? Uh, There's actually 95 artworks in the exhibit. 95. Some of those are available for purchase. So if you're interested in buying art. Will they be clearly marked, the ones that are available for purchase? Yes, they, they'll they have a price on them. They'll be clear, clearly marked. So it's, uh, you know, if you're an art enthusiast, great place to look at some art. So where, where's your location? Uh, we are at 1203 Missouri Boulevard in Jefferson City, right on the strip, right on the main drag there. And as far as coming in now, you're practicing social distancing. Yes. Everybody must wear a mask, correct? Right, social distance. And our hours are limited due to the covid We are only open Thursday from 11 to 1, Friday from 11 a.m. to 5.30, and then Saturday from 10 to 1. So we're limited, but if you can get there, you know, it's a great show, a lot of variety. How many people do you have in the uh, Jeff City Art Club? Um, I think we average, it varies. Right now, our numbers are down, I think, due to the pandemic. We're around 30 or so right now. We've gone up to 50 or 60 people at times. Interesting thing about the art club is that it's been around since 1903. So that, <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you, you've uh, you've been in the water there for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if people, do you, do you have to live in the Jefferson City nope. area, or can anybody no, join? No, anybody can join. We have actually people uh, from outside the area, uh, Lebanon, Missouri. We have an artist from Washington, Missouri, uh, Columbia. So yeah, you don't have to live in Jeff City. I live actually outside town. And I'm a member, so... Uh, okay, so if people want more information if about the uh, Fine Art Show or if they want to join the art club, more information, how do they get in touch um, with you? Go, just go to the Jefferson City Art Club website, and there's a registration form, uh, an application for you to become a member. You fill it out, bring it to one of the art club meetings. Now, the last few months, our uh, meetings have all been Zoom meetings, But we are going to in-person meetings starting in April. And all the list of the schedule uh, for the art club is there on the website. Okay. Go to the uh, website. It's jeffersoncityartclub-missouri.com. And you get all the information you need. You can sign up and you can find out about the the Fine Arts arts Show. Fred, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks, Paul. I'm happy to be here. All right. Now we're going to talk about something. It's, it's, It's not a pleasant subject. It's child abuse. And April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. And I want to introduce you to Kelly Hill from CASA. Welcome to Radio Friends, Thanks for having me back. What do we need to know about this? Well, I think locally um, I have some stats to share. Um, I think child abuse is one of those topics, like you said. It's uncomfortable. A lot of people don't like to talk about it. And um, But we have to talk about it so that we can be aware of the prevalence and then what we can do to help the issue. How big of a problem is child abuse locally? So in Boone and Callaway counties, which is the 13th Judicial Circuit, every year we have about 650 children involved in the foster care system because of proven abuse and neglect each year. 650? Yeah. 
And so on average, each month, we have about 18 children being brought into the foster care system. And the average age of, the, of a child in the foster care system is eight. So we're looking at like a third, mm. you know, third grade, if you can imagine how that. Do you, how do you deal with that? Now, how do you comfort and give confidence back to kids who have been abused? Well, that's a, you know, that, that's a big question and that, that takes a lot of time yeah, and it, it takes a lot of adult, consistent, strong, caring adult support. Right. Foster care can be kind of a traumatic experience because of how much children move because kids need those connections with adults to help overcome what they've experienced. So how does CASA fit into all of this? So CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. Essentially what we do as an organization is we recruit, uh, train, and support volunteers from the community who become CASA volunteers. And CASA volunteers are matched with a case of a child or a sibling group in the foster care system, and they are there to be a consistent, stable advocate for them for the time that they're in the system. So they visit them consistently, they get to know them and their situation in depth, and they ultimately report to the family court judge and to the team on the child's needs and, um, you know, best you know, recommendations for placement and those types of do, things. Do they actually have interaction with the children themselves? Yes. So the CASA volunteers visit. That's kind of the bedrock of they, their advocacy. Okay. Is. They visit, mm -hmm. but they don't take the kids out on their own. No. Mm -mm. They, they may, some of their visits may be out in the community. Our volunteers don't transport the children, but um, so volunteers may meet at a park. They may go on a walk around the neighborhood. They may meet at the library and different places. Do the places. kids know what, what the volunteers are there for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. To be their advocate. And the kids know that they can call the CASA volunteers if they need to, if they have a question, if they need something. So they're, they know that they're, they are, the CASAs are there to be a support for them. Yeah. And so what type of people are you looking for as volunteers? You know, our volunteers come from all walks of life. You have to be at least 21. We have volunteers up into their 80s. Um, the, I think the most important thing, you know, besides you have to pass a background check and all those things, is you have to have a, a heart for it and you have to want to be, you have to be able to commit to the, and be consistent because okay. these kids don't need more change. Right. We're almost out of time, but how, how much time... Uh, does someone need to commit to if they want to be a volunteer? So it's about 8 to 12 hours a month. Okay. There, the, there's a pre-service training, which is 30 hours, but after that's done and you're on a case, it, it averages to about 8 hours a month. So you're meeting maybe once a week or once every two weeks? Yeah, you meet the kids every couple weeks, and then in between you know, those things, you might be reading paperwork, meeting with team okay. members, going to court. All right, so it's www.home, uh, H O M casa c-a-s-a dot org that's right. it thank you very much kelly i appreciate thank you coming you. by and Thanks. please come back again and keep us posted on how things are going we will thank okay? you <laughs> something you'd like to hear or see i'd love to hear from you drop me an email pepper p missouri dot edu and when you're out and about please wear that mask today and smile under the mask too <laughs> bye-bye <laughs>